say that a lot, you know, because this is moment, you know, but how does it feel now that you know you're going to actually have to go out of the game <laughs> and he's not going to be there? Yeah, um, you know, I talked to the receiver group today and just let them know how um, it's a big opportunity for a lot of these guys, especially the guys that are coming back, you know, I think they're all are besides Jenks. So um, this is an opportunity for them to, I, I want to be the guy, you know, this is a chance for them to go out there and make some big plays happen. Um, but, uh, but yeah, it was definitely different not having one out there. You know, he's been my right hand since he got stepped foot on this campus. So um, definitely missed having him out there. Yeah, so now it is um, when one is on the field, and you know this could just be for me, and it could be negatively taken or positively taken. I know where he's at at all times. Um, I there's just this aroma that you know is around him that when when he's on the field, you know where he is. So um, today I practice. Honestly, it was it was almost like. Uh, I didn't need to look at matchups. I didn't really need to look at, you know, is there a little corner guarding a kill or anything like that? I just was out there and slinging it around. So um, we have guys that are very capable. I mean, as you see, when one got a little bit banged up towards the end of the season, we had some guys go out there and make some plays. Brandon made a lot of big plays. Frank made some big plays. Um, obviously, you got guys like Kyle that can make big plays. Today, Jenk had a really good day. Um, T Chat's getting back rolling. You know, he's been banged up all year too. So we have guys that can make plays. And uh, now in this bowl game, it's just going out there, having fun, um, throwing the ball around, just playing ball. Coach Edwards said that Porter's going to play too. Um, is he something yeah, Jordan. That can get in, I mean, even though he hasn't really played all season, that can get in the Yeah, no, I mean, he has been, he, he's going to be a really good player. Um, he reminds me a lot of, not their style of play, of Kyle, um, and it's the mental aspect of the game, how he approaches the game. He's a very um, shy kid, doesn't really talk much to, you know, besides his best friends or whatever, but, um, but he just handles his business. He comes out, he works hard, um, he listens when coaches tell him to do something, and, uh, and he's always coming up to me and asking me how he can run a route better or, you know, what I'm looking at. So. Um, he's he's going to be a really good player here, and I'm looking forward to to, to seeing his career uh, really take a jump start after this game. So, yeah. Manny, what will be your best memories of the territory? Best memories? Yeah, just some of the things you remember. I just think after seeing that kid miss that field goal, um, I instantly got teary eyed just because it was such a special moment. Um, those moments don't happen very often. Um, so that was that was a pretty special moment. I would honestly say, out of the whole series of my three games that I played in, um, just the whole sequence of getting the fumble, going out there having a, a pass play call. We were taking a shot at the end zone because it was a turn of events, and I said, "Bump it." We got you know, best back in the country. They're gonna roll the coverage to the field. Let him do what he does. I checked off to a run play, and he scored. And it was kind of like. For me, it's like a movie. You know, I, I I visualize that, and when I go back and I and I see it in my head, I see it like a movie. So, um, it was definitely very very cool to be a part of. Yeah, it's a very good football team. Um, you know, I've been very 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 impressed with uh, how hard they play. Um, statistically, I think this is the best defense that we're going to face all year long. Um, don't let because they're in the Mountain West fool you. Um, they uh, they play really good football. They play really hard for Coach Tedford. Um, I uh, I trained with Marcus this whole off season, so it's it's gonna be fun to have the opportunity to go against him. We actually were on the same uh, seven on seven team, so um, it'll be cool to go against him. Um, know a couple wideouts on the team too. So uh, this this is a good football team. Um, they're gonna play man. They're gonna play a little cover three. Um, show you some quarters here and there, but they're, uh, like I said, they remind me a lot of San Diego State in terms of just their effort and how hard they play. Um, and it shows, it shows that if a guy looks like he's running down the field, you're gonna see 10, 11 other guys running down that field chasing him. So 
Um, it's a group of guys that group of guys that care, and they're going to come out ready to play. Um, they're playing for this is to go what eleven and three for them. So this is this is huge for them in their season. And uh, you know, I know they're going to be ready to play, so we'll be ready as well. I have been so over the emotional roller coaster that this whole last every you know last home, last away, last territorial, last bowl game now uh i'm i'm very over the emotional roller coaster of it all um but i definitely i definitely am enjoying um these last couple weeks it has been uh it's been awesome to be a part of this football team um i st stood up in front of our team and told them how this is probably the uh, most proud i am to be the quarterback of a football team this year since i've been here so um it's been a very fun year um I look forward to going out the right way um, and uh, just go out there and have fun. I've, in, I've enjoyed this process so much, so uh, the, the team knows how much this means to me. Yeah, yeah, I think that uh, I think this place is really going in the right direction. Um, hell, I mean, you guys know it. It's, it doesn't really need to be talked about. I think that uh, when you hear ASU football, there really isn't a lot of people after the season that we had. And although it wasn't, you know, the championship that we wanted and all that, there not a lot of people are like, yeah, those guys aren't any good. When, when you hear ASU football, you think that's a very good football team. There's not a lot of teams that when we walk into a stadium, they know we're going to come ready to play. So um, I think we, this group, the seniors that were up on the stage the other night, um, we put a lot of hard work and uh, dedication into this program. And, uh, and I think with Coach Herm and the leadership that's here, it's definitely in the right direction. And, and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing some of the recruits that they're getting. Um, it's been fun to be a part of that. What do you think will be Nick uh, Eagle's greatest contribution to the program? All the accolades, all the number one this, number one that, Superstar this, superstar that. Never once did he act like that when he walked in this building, and uh, and I think that's the legacy that he'll leave leave here is that um, he never abused being a superstar. He never abused being the best player on this football team. He never once um, took this game for granted. Like Coach Herm was saying, and I was back there listening to him. He is definitely somebody that knows. That football isn't just something he plays because he's about to go make millions or, um, you know, there's, there is no, what's the word I'm looking for? There isn't just one thing that, you know, he's looking forward to in terms of, uh, I'm sorry, I'm blanking on the word, materialistic things. Like, he's not in it for materialistic things. He plays this game because he loves this game and he plays this game because he knows he has an opportunity to provide for his family in the future. And uh, when you have a guy that, shows up to practice every single day with that type of attitude and that mindset. Good luck stopping that type of dude. So that's the, that's the legacy he'll leave here. Do you, do you like the idea of this bus trip up to Las Vegas? Herm was saying that it, it could be a little bit of an adventure. I'm gonna throw my I'm gonna throw my little Bose Pure Sport headphones in and zone out. So I'm not a big fan of car rides, um, but uh, but I mean. This is, it'll be fun. It, it's always fun when, when you go on trips with teams, no matter if it's plane, bus, whatever it is, uh, just because it's, well, for me, it's going to be my last opportunity with the team, you know, hanging out and things like that. So um, certain guys will probably be annoyed with it and they will be frustrated with it. But guys that uh, guys like myself, seniors that have really enjoyed how much this place has done for us and the experience of everything, um, I'm going to enjoy it, so I'm going to be very happy and very understand how blessed I am to even have the opportunity to take a bus ride to go to Vegas to play a bowl game and stay in the MGM for a week. Like, what? I'm, I'm super excited. I know Nikhil Harry was your roommate on the road. Uh, who's getting the honors of the um, I hope nobody. I hope I get my own room. <laughs> um, but uh, we shall see. We shall see. I'm sure they'll give me an option, whoever I want to have room with me. So. Yeah, I mean, I definitely, my goal is to continue to play football. Um, I think I have enough tape. I think that I've shown enough out on this field and 
you know, there's never been one negative thing written about me in the newspapers or I've never been arrested or anything like that. So I'm going to have an opportunity, um, and it's just going to be about what I do with that. How do I um, take the step forwards to get myself ready for it? But, uh, but yeah, definitely, I mean, my options are all open, but my, my eyes are set on uh, giving myself an opportunity to play in the NFL. This season with Herm Edwards, what stands out to you when you look back about playing um, are you saying like what is my memory or what, what do you mean stands out? Just how he approaches coaching and what it's been like to be, especially the quarterback for a team that he runs. There hasn't been one time in my life that throughout a whole entire year the coach didn't have one blow up, one yell at somebody crazy, you know, cuss words, slip, something like that. That doesn't happen. He, he just, it's just not who he is. And uh, when he's in here talking to you guys, he talks to you guys how he talks to us, how he talks to our parents. You know, he doesn't waver his, um, his character because he's talking to media. He's not up here giving you guys cookie cutter, you know, responses and things like that. He's just, he's a genuine, real person. And, uh, and that's, that's the thing I'll take away the most is to be successful in life, to be successful in whatever that you put yourself in front of you don't have to be different because of you know what is on a piece of paper it says you need to be like if you remain to be yourself the correct things will fall in your path that need to be there and, and that's something that i've learned from coach Ryan.